how to make a brochure in Canva. Hi guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a brochure using Canva. Perfect for promoting your business or company. So let's get started. First, head over to canva.com. Canva is an online design tool that allows you to create presentations, logos, flyers, videos, and yes, brochures too. Now, if you don't already have an account, you can sign up quickly using your email address or Google account. Once you're logged in, you'll land on the main dashboard. To find brochure templates, hover over the template section tab at the left menu. Once you are in it, you'll see brochures listed there. Go ahead and click it. Alternatively, you can also go to business, marketing, and find brochures under that section. Once you open the brochures page, Canva will show you a wide variety of templates across different niches, perfect for any type of business or project. You can either select a ready-made template or start from scratch. For this tutorial, I'm going to click on Create a Brochure to open a blank canvas. Here we are on the brochure design page. Canva will usually open a tri-fold brochure layout, which is divided into three sections. The first panel is typically the front cover. The middle panel is the inside center. And the third panel usually becomes the back cover. This setup makes it really easy to organize your content. Now that we're inside the template section, you'll notice that we have several brochure templates available to choose from. You can pick any one of them and start working on it right away. What's great is that every template is fully customizable, so you're not limited to the original design. It's completely up to you how you want to personalize it. For this demonstration, I'm going to select one of the templates from the available options and begin working on it to show you how easy and flexible the process is. So I'll go ahead and click on this particular template. Each brochure template here consists of two separate pages, one for the outside of the brochure and one for the inside. First, we'll work with the outside page. I'll select this as the cover or front side of our brochure. You can clearly see that this layout is labeled as the outside design. Next, we'll click on the Add Page button to insert the second part, which will be the inside of the brochure. This is what the inside layout typically looks like. Now, let's focus on editing the outside of the brochure first. The first section you see here will be the cover page. Then, the section in the middle will be the part that folds in when the brochure is closed. And finally, the last section will be the back of the brochure. Each area needs to be customized according to your brand or business. Just like with any Canva template, customizing this is pretty straightforward. Let's begin with the outside design. First of all, I'm going to change the background color of the template. To do that, I'll click on the section I want to edit, and then you'll see the color options appear. But I'd prefer to use a different combination. After changing the background, I'll need to make sure the text color is also updated so that everything remains readable and visually appealing. Let me quickly take care of that. I'll click on the text box. Once that's done, you'll notice that the overall look of the template has already started to change quite a bit. It's beginning to reflect my own branding and style. Next, let's move on to the text content. Right below that, we have a subheading. I'm going to customize this line too and replace it. That gives it a more specific and relevant tone for our audience. Moving on to the details section I, here I am gonna type in my YouTube channel link. Now, let's say you wanna take your customization a step further and add some social media links. For instance, I wanna include a LinkedIn icon to let viewers know where they can find us online. To do that, I'll head over to the Elements section in Canva. In the search bar, I'll type LinkedIn, and you'll see a range of LinkedIn icons pop up. I'll scroll through and choose one that matches the aesthetic of my existing icons. This one here looks like a good fit. I'll then resize the icon to make it nice and small and position it right next to our other contact details. After that, we'll need to add a small text label next to the icon. I'll go to the text section, choose the body text style, and type in our LinkedIn profile link. Then I'll shrink the font size to keep it subtle and place it neatly beside the LinkedIn icon. This is exactly how you'll be adding your information into the brochure design. You simply start by inserting the relevant icon, and then you can go ahead and add the accompanying text right next to it. If you want to include additional design elements beyond what's already in the template, you can easily do that by heading over to the Elements section in Canva. From there, you can search for any specific graphic or shape you want to include, and then simply drag and drop it into your layout. Let's continue working on this brochure now. You'll notice that there's a placeholder here with a code. If you don't like the current design, 
you can absolutely change it to something else that suits your branding better. For this walkthrough, I'm keeping things simple and clean. I've chosen this particular layout, and now we can see the placeholder where the company name is located. I'm going to delete that since we've already added our company name in the section above. So I'll just remove this extra text and that's done. Now let's change the default image that comes with this template. I'll be replacing it with an image from our gallery. You can do this by going to the upload section in Canva, or you can upload images directly from your computer. In this case, I'm going to go to the elements tab and search for a relevant picture instead. Once I find the one I want, I'll drag it into the design and replace the existing image. There you go. That looks much better. All right, now let's scroll down and move on to the inside page of our brochure. As you can see, this part includes sections like About Us, which you'll customize to reflect your own business information. You'll also see a placeholder logo here. I'll customize this part now by simply clicking on it, change the text to my channel name app tutor. Once that's done, I'll remove the default logo since we don't need it anymore. In the About Us section, you can enter a brief introduction or description about your company, your mission, or any background information you'd like your readers to know. Just click on the text and replace it with your content, just like we did before. It's a great way to showcase real feedback. There's also a photo section on this page. We can easily replace that image too. I'll go ahead and click on the existing picture and change it to another one that better suits our brochure. Let me select this one here. It looks more aligned with our theme. Perfect. Now, you'll notice that the color of the inside page is slightly different from the outside design. I want to match the inside page accordingly. So I'm going to adjust the background here to a switching them to purple so they match the color scheme of the rest of the brochure. Once that's done, the entire layout will look consistent and professionally designed. Now that everything is ready, you can clearly see that we have both the outside and the inside pages fully customized. It's time to save and share it. Click on the Share button at the top of the Canva dashboard and then select Download. You have the option to download your brochure as a PNG file, which is great for sharing digitally, or as a PDF, which is ideal for printing. For now, I'm going to download it as a PDF, since I may want to print this brochure and hand it out or email it to clients as a polished, print-ready document. And just like that, you've created your own professional brochure for your company or business using Canva. Whether you're building materials for a YouTube automation service or any other business, Canva makes it simple and accessible. You can create high-quality brochures like this using the free version of Canva as well. No paid subscription needed. I hope this tutorial helped you out and made the process easier. If it did, please give this video a big thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comments below, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you never miss future content.